stuff. Let me talk about the T.I. conversation real quick. So I hit up, um, T.I. texted me. I don't know how he got my number, but he texted me. He texted me, um, I believe on it's maybe Saturday. Yeah. There was a lot going on on Saturday. And um, I was like, yo, T.I., he texted me late. Or actually, I, I texted him, then he texted me. And, and I said, yo, could we talk tomorrow morning? T.I. was like, yo, I got my birthday festivities um, um, I'm commencing. So um, let's talk on Monday. And happy birthday, by the way, T.I. Now, he, I'll give him another piece of uh, credit before I go into this. And by the way, I know how y'all going to take this because I know the people who don't like me are listening with a different ear. Not giving him credit because I'm scared. I'm giving him credit because unlike a lot of people, T.I. could have just jumped out with a opinion. You know what T.I. said? Y'all want to, I want to have a word with you. I want to talk to you real quick. Right? When I got on the phone with T.I. Monday, this is after the Breakfast Club thing. T.I. said, act. I watched what you also said about potentially talking to me on your stream. I wanted to make sure I wasn't just going off this, that, or the third. I watched a few things. I got to salute to a nigga like that. You see, a guy like that, I love to have a conversation with. It was a great conversation. Um, let's start out by saying this. Because, yes, I did offer an apology to Toya and Regine if they were offended by a joke that I was making. Yeah, I did. Because, you know, also talking to T.I., and I'm glad I did that. I, I did that before I talked to T.I., but T.I. gave me a new perspective of it. And this is how T.I. started the conversation. T.I. says, yo, do you have any kids or do you have any sisters or even um, nephew or no, nieces, actually? Nieces or cousins that are female. And he basically was saying, like, listen, a lot of things, even jokes, women don't react to just like men. And this is what I took away from it. So, you know, uh, again, it's open to, you know, if he says not, nah, that's not what I said. But this is what I took away from it. Me using the B word, which I later corrected like two seconds later, was one of the things that probably got Regine and Toya both offended, but that wasn't the majority, which that was shocking to me. I thought they were just mad at the word. For them, like T.I. even vocalized to me, said, yo, well, the tone and everything which you said made it seem like, because I did say, I was like, yo, she's just downgraded. She just got some random nigga. This is exactly what I said. <clears throat> After talking about her leaving, leaving wife and Lucci for... For, um, I don't know this guy's name. Anyway, the point of what, um, the point of what T.I. was trying to convey was just like, listen. And obviously he knows her, so, so he's much more intimate to the situation, right? So, so, you know, he's like, listen. Bro, she's going through life and she's made mistakes. And it's one of those things where, you know, these mistakes, they don't want, she doesn't even want to, to define her life. And this enter. This is a bunch of more stuff. <clears throat> and it made me feel like maybe mentally or like, you know, she didn't take that. Like, I think we all just took it as a joke and moved on. And we, we took it as a bigger picture. That's why I was trying to say the B word. I was like, we know women like this. <clears throat> also, and, and this was T.I.'s thing. T.I. said, listen. Well, it, also, when I heard you say that she downgraded. Or she went from this guy to this guy. It made it seem like Regine was one of them. And I said, what you mean? He says, well, Regine ain't like most of these people that you might be trying to make that joke about. Regine comes from a maid family. She don't got to chase no nigga. She don't got to chase no nigga of stature. She don't got to chase no nigga who's on any type of level. Your comments made it seem like she's needing a nigga. For whatever reason. Now, granted, that was my intent, but that was a good insight by him. I'm like, 
Well, I agree with you that she don't need no nigga. You know what I mean? But I understand that perspective. <clears throat> so, yeah. For, 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 for T.I., it was more about, you know, and I don't want to speak on a relationship or, or give what I got from that conversation about prior relationships. Basically, they're saying, listen, she don't want to be defined by certain people or certain situations or even past dating experiences that she's had. She's growing up. She's figuring this shit out. She's making mistakes. But I did point out to T.I., I said, T.I., she's an adult and she's making public relationship things. And I ain't gonna lie, he definitely did. He used the, well, you know what I mean? She's different. He did use that. He pretty much used that. You know what I mean? Um, then we got to the B word. So I had to make sure he knew how I used it. And he was like, yes, I do know how you used it. But he says, even in that, I, we don't like how you made that comparison because Regine doesn't fit or compare to those type of people because he acknowledged it. I, I was like, Tia, you do comedy. I was trying to make a joke. It's a joke. That's it. That certain women date certain niggas until it gets real and, and then they run to the square. They run to the non-gangster. And he was just like, I get what you're saying, but that's just not her. Then he said to me, that's why I know he listened to the stream, and that's why I gave him super, super props. He said, act. I, while also listening to your stream, you said, well, one of the reasons you use the word bitch is because you have heard that from myself and others. You've heard it in our music. And I said, yes, sir. That's true. Yo, the, the internet's so funny. Even... Even me just saying yes, sir, in here. I didn't say yes, sir, to him. Just relax. I was like, yes, yes, T.I., yes, right? So, yeah, of course I said that, right? Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I didn't say that. No, yeah, I did. Then he said to me, which was very interesting, he said, well, act. you know, the same way how you're saying about your comments, context is missing. When you say people like me, an artist like me, who have used that word, um, have done it on a broad stroke, that context is missing. And I'm going to be honest, he hit me with something which I didn't think he was going to say. He said, Ak, you have to know there is a difference. There are bitches, <laughs> but there are women. And essentially, he was just trying to say, Regine don't fit in the category of the bitches. Regine is a woman that should be respected. Um, not only for, you know, from the family she comes from, from what she stands for and how she moves. But then he said, you're right. There are bitches who are, it, it, he kind of described it as like a lower level type of chick who basically that's how they move. Oh, they're just fucking with guy to guy, just trying to get like, you know, some type of almost like social climbing in a way, right? Like, like okay, you're fucking with a drug dealer because he got the money. Now he get locked up. You fuck with another drug dealer because he got the money. And you fuck with this guy because he's a thug and he got this. And then eventually you sell it for the square. He wanted to make sure. Um, I was just uh, I was just flabbergasted when he said, yo, no, act. there are bitches. I was like, what? I thought bitches was the, the. He was just like, no, no. But there is a difference between bitches and women. And we have to be very cognizant when we use it. And he said, anytime I ever used the word bitch in my music, I was talking about some bitches. <laughs> That's what he said. That, he really said that. <laughs> and, I, and I thought about it. And I was like, okay. No, I get it. Like, you see, this is a nuanced conversation too. And this is why I love the combo I had with him. Because if you don't understand nuance, you're going to be like, isn't he, isn't he just contradicting himself? No, he's saying that the word bitch usually is used for a large broad people and yes it's derogatory at times but if you go back to any comedian you go back to anybody who really explains shit you got the bitches and you got women somebody said this nigga ti skated with no accountability and i made it happen 
Well, also, we're we're gonna also have to acknowledge, right? Because I did tell him, I'm like, yo, you know I comment about money back, yo, and Ari all the time. Right? And that was to to um address the fact that I commented on her relationship. Because everybody is now like in the last week they've made twenty three a child. It's like, yo, she's a twenty three year old child. Like, I wish I could tell the cops that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But okay. I get it. And you know, obviously there's a there's a um I don't even know what to say. <laughs> but basically what I'm trying to say, nigga, there's rules for some rules for others, yo. Listen, if it's hip-hop royalty, Regina is hip-hop royalty. You know how many chicks I've called doing made the same, doing the same type of stuff? Not call them bitches, but like, you know, just kind of use the same type of joke. Regina and them, they're exempt. That's what they, that's basically what the conversation was about. They're not like that. Whatever the case is. Um, the mother chicks though in love of hip-hop who ain't got no hip-hop royalty attached to them, them bitches wild. <laughs> okay? That's all I could say. <laughs> and also, here's the thing, too. Here, though. Oh, oh, this is one of the biggest things, too. I definitely want to say that. I think they were also upset. This was pretty big. This is pretty big. They were also upset that I they believe that the joke I was making was painting a narrative. You get what I mean? Because from what I'm hearing is that she left wife and Lucci a long time ago. It wasn't the Rico that sparked that sp sparked it. So you know, I guess they're saying your joke is making that opinion more popular when it's not factual, which I understand that too. Now, granted, I never did no research on their relationship. I'm going off what I see on the shade room. I, I seen her with with this guy. Couple years ago, then I seen it with this guy, and I'm like, oh, the only thing I remember in between is Rico. Okay, whatever. You know? But the B word is definitely, um, what am I saying B word? The bitch word is definitely, um, it's intricate and, and it's, it's difficult to really, to really, um, It's difficult to really comprehend. But I do believe a lot of these rappers now that they're having daughters that are growing up and entering the sexual or date marketplace shit hits a little bit different. Do you get what I mean? Because even in the explanation that T.I. said when he said, well, yeah, I said bitches in my raps, but I'm talking about their, I was talking about bitches, not women. And I'm like, I understand that, you know, there's a distinction that could be made. But a lot of times, how do you know the difference between a bitch and a woman? You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like, it's us, it's us also, it, 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 it's, it's kind of like the conundrum we, we be in when we're accepting the N word, but we're like, no, nah, it's all about the usage. Granted, that's a little bit different because we just banned white people from saying it. But the word bitch, if it's used in certain, if, if a woman says bitch to bitch, right? Like, if a, woman, if a woman calls another woman a bitch and the other woman calls her a bitch, a lot of times they're being very friendly. If the tone is wrong, and by, oh, that's what he said. Thank you. I'm glad I'm, I'm remember. That's another thing he said. He said, act. Your tone matters too. Because the way you say bitch with the tone you're talking about this situation with makes it feel degraded. It's complex. And by the way, by the way, um, as I said, it was a great conversation with T.I. I would like to invite anybody, especially rappers who I grew up on. I grew up on T.I. I grew up on a lot of Wayne's music. I grew up on Cameron, 50 Cent, Nelly. I grew up on, you know what I mean, um, um, who else? Who else? A lot of these guys, 2000s, like 2000s, I'm learning a lot about just how whatever, whatever it is. I would love to have these conversations with these men and have a roundtable discussion with it to see how they now feel because 
when a lot of the objectification of of women in hip hop came from the 2000s. There was a thing called BT Uncut. I could literally turn my TV on and see a nigga slide a credit card down a woman's ass. Like, whoop! Like, basically, like, it's just simulating that, yo, he's just paid for sexual favors of pleasure from the woman, and that was considered fly. Do you get what I mean? It's like, um... But I always go back to what hip hop is, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I think Ti is eloquent enough in having that conversation. I don't think everybody else is, because when you're trying to, when you're drawing straws and like you're being super, okay, this does this is not offensive. This isn't. It becomes really down to what's subjective. Maybe we should have the conversation that nobody should use the word bitch. But I don't think rappers will want to have that conversation because they want to have they want to reserve their right for when they want to use it in the context they want to use it. I, I said it must be your ass, cause it ain't your. Fa I'm telling you, that's tip drill. I'm telling you. <laughs> 